Well, we have not had the best of weather the last couple of days, and today was supposed to be more of the same. It was supposed to be rainy and chilly uh, all day today. It is a little chilly um, for San Diego, I should say, uh, but as you can see, we, it is not raining now, so we uh, caught a bit of a break there. But it's supposed to rain tonight and it's supposed to rain tomorrow. So I figured since it wasn't raining right now, I would put off my errands and just get out and walk around a little bit. So I've come out here to Marion Bear Memorial Park. And this is just a tiny little park that is part of a trail system here in San Clemente Canyon. And as you can see, it sits right under the freeway here. This is uh, the 52 freeway. And this is a busy little freeway. And there's also another little street that is a busy street. So this is not exactly pristine and ideal, but it is cool to have a little open space like this right in the middle of a busy city. So with all the rain and wind and chilly temperatures, I spent most of yesterday and of course all last night just huddled in the van. I actually turned my heater on trying to stay warm because it was pretty chilly for me. Um, I should be embarrassed about that because I think it was only in the maybe mid 40s. But anyway, I'd, I really wanted to get out and walk around after yesterday. So that's part of the reason why I came out here and okay, maybe I'm not gonna, maybe I'm not gonna go very far here. Uh, <laughs> this is a uh, trail system that runs along through this little canyon, but I didn't realize that there was a creek here <laughs> and I don't think I'm gonna be walking through that. That's a little deep. I did put my waterproof shoes on, but uh, yeah, it's a little deeper than I expected. I may have to go in the other direction. Luckily, this trail uh, has a bunch of offshoots and goes in two different uh, directions. <laughs> well, I guess I'll just double back and go see the other side of the trail. It doesn't really matter. I'm just happy to be out and about. I, uh, I really plan my whole life around being outside of my van. I know I am living the van life, but the whole point of the matter to me is to be out of the van, not in the van. So I, uh, I'm happy to be out and about today, no matter what I encounter. This is an oddly peaceful spot for being under a freeway overpass. Well, I think I've reached the end of this side of the trail, unless I want to get my feet wet. But I don't think that's a good idea today. It would be my guess that this little creek doesn't run year-round, so it'd probably be a little easier in the summer months just to keep going up and down this trail. noise is never very fun, but it is really nice to be out and about today. 
looking at the weather report, I thought I'd be sitting in the van uh, all day today, avoiding the rain. Uh, but it's really nice to just be able to get out and about today. I'm, I'm happy. But I could also use some coffee, so that's uh, next on my list of to-do. One of the reasons I came out here was, one, because I wanted to get out and about and walk around. I was expecting to be able to walk a little bit farther, but um, it's nice to be out and about. Uh, and also, I can't really dawdle too long because I do need to get to the laundromat. One of the reasons I came here is I was driving by. I drive by this spot uh, quite a bit because my favorite laundromat is just uh, maybe a mile or so away. So it was kind of convenient just to check this out today. Another reason that this kind of dropped into my radar is because I heard that they're going to probably demolish this park. They want to expand the freeway here. It is a busy freeway and from time to time it gets really backed up. So I understand them wanting to uh, create a little bit more space on the freeway, but it's kind of a shame to lose a space like this. You know, you got busy cities, you need to balance that out with outdoor spaces. So um, it's kind of a shame that they're doing that. <laughs> well, it's so windy, I had to close the door because the wind kept coming in and blowing out the flame on my stove. Well, I'm going to do something that is probably going to shock some of you. I don't have any Oatly. I was running out and there was none around anywhere. So since I was in walking distance to a Trader Joe's, I bought some just regular old cow's milk half and half. I don't really mind half and half, but I was finding back when I switched to Oatly, I found that it just seemed like half and half gave me kind of a sour flavor in my coffee and I I thought maybe it was the brand I was using and kind of switched around to different brands and usually I buy organic dairy uh, this one is not but um, I don't know I I don't love this I don't hate it yeah I think I'm gonna search out some Oatly I just seem to prefer it this just has kind of a kind of a bit of a sour flavor and I I notice it more when the coffee is starting to cool down. When it's hot, I don't see a huge difference in flavor, but once it starts to cool, that's when I notice a difference in flavor. And I'm not a big fan of that sour flavor. So I'm using it up, but uh, I think I'm definitely going to go back to oat milk. And if you're going to ask me why I didn't buy any oat milk at Trader Joe's, Trader Joe's sells two different kinds of oat milk that I know of, and I don't like either one of them. I really just like Oatly. So I guess that's the answer. I just need to stick to Oatly. As much as I hate being uh, beholden to one company and one particular product, it seems to be the one I like the best. So with coffee finished, I can head on over and get my laundry done. Um, I think I mentioned it that just up the road here, not very far is my favorite laundromat. It's really my favorite laundromat in all of California, but certainly my favorite here in San Diego. Uh, it's just a really nice, well-run laundromat. It's not the cheapest, of course, but it's not a filthy mess in there. So I, it's, it's why I like the place, and I usually will drive out of my way to go to this laundromat. It's been over a month since I've been to the laundromat, so it's time.
Okay, so I've got the laundry started, got about half an hour on the wash cycle, and I want to make a little bit of lunch. Uh, since I've got some leftover ground beef, I think I'm just going to make up some tacos. Is there time? I think there's time. These are fast and messy, but I think they're going to be tasty. Mm, that tire's looking a little bit low. Okay, tires are taken care of, and before I leave here, I should probably just go walk over and get some water. I'd rather walk and get water than have to drive and get water, so while I'm here, I'll just go over and use one of the water machines around the corner. Part of me wants to stop for a second and make a cup of coffee. The other part of me wants to just get out of here, find a place to park, and start making some dinner. Well, I was going to go find a place to park up for the night, make dinner, but I really felt like getting out and doing a little bit more walking. It was so nice to be out and about walking earlier this morning. And with the sky the way it is, just look at these clouds and sky. I just can't get over how beautiful it is tonight. So I thought, why well, stuck myself in the van when I could get outside, do a little bit more walking around. Okay, that was nice, but I am frozen. The uh, temperature is really starting to drop here. It's supposed to be in the high 30s tonight, and it feels like it's pretty close already. So I think it's now time to uh, find a place to park for the night and make some tacos. You hear that? I think I parked just in time. Good thing I'm not still out walking because I think the rain has started. Okay, I've got the ground beef on cooking. I'm just gonna brown that off. And then what I've been doing here, now that I have a freezer uh, and I can store some things, I'm going to kind of uh, bulk these out a little bit. So I'm gonna add some corn, some uh, frozen, fresh frozen corn and some hash brown potatoes. So these things I just bought just because they were super cheap and I can basically just use them as I'm using them now. Uh, I like hash browns in the morning sometimes, but um, this is really what I'm using these for. It's just to kind of uh, bulk out my protein for my tacos and things. I forgot I bought some peas the other day, so I'm gonna add some green peas in here too. Might as well, right? So I've got some pink salt in there, which is what I use for most everything. It's just this Himalayan salt or pink salt. 
And just to give this a little bit more flavor, I picked up some of the spike. I don't know if you're familiar with this. If you don't shop in natural food stores or health food stores, you probably will not come across this. But it's um, sea salt and then just a bunch of dried herbs and vegetables. And it's really tasty. Okay, I've got this meat browned off and I'm chuckling here a little bit because I have made the classic mistake. But I gotta combine this bit of ground beef with these vegetables and mix it all together. That's not happening in this bowl. Always choose the biggest bowl you possibly have. And, uh, or, yeah, always choose the biggest bowl you have. I don't know where the possibly came from, but anyway. Uh, yeah, Chef taught me that years ago and then I just you know, occasionally don't remember. So this will go in the big bowl so that we can now mix all of this up together. Ready. He's out of here. Drain them a little bit because I've got them a little bit greasy, but that's okay. That's the way I like them. Okay, let's see how we did. I think they're going to be tasty, just like lunch was. I have only one problem with these tacos, and that is that I only have four of them. I would like maybe, you know, six or eight. That would be much better. But I am thankful for good food, and I'm also thankful for uh, the extra heat I have in the van. I was chilly all day. I'm nice and toasty warm now. In fact, I can lose my sweater too, probably. I really don't need this, do I? Anyway, um, I'm gonna enjoy my tacos, and thanks for hanging out with me today. Uh, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.